Welcome to Bible Cross for Kids. Most of us that have been in the Christian world knows Jesus cares for us. Today's lesson number 24, Jesus Feeds the 4,000, is a great example of how he recognizes our need and takes care of it. You can find this Bible Cross for Kids lesson at BibleCrossForKids.com. This PDF file includes the lesson as well as the creative page activity that I'm going to show you. So let's get started. We have just finished number 23, Jesus Heals a Deaf and Mute Man. And today we're going to do number 24, Jesus Feeds the 4,000. This page may be done, I know, of three ways. And I think I'll show you those three ways today. Um, it has to do with the ribbon. You can do this ribbon in three different ways. The instructions shows to use a gross grain ribbon, but I'll, I'll use a, a ribbon and a paper and a string and show you how all three of those are done. But first you need to go to BibleCraftsForKids.com and download the lesson and create a page activity, which comes with the lesson, the instructions, and the labels. I have printed my labels on this orange paper and my base is uh, all the flags. Now our base is going to be a six by six. And so I'm going to cut this in six by six and I'm also going to cut one half inch strip for the example. And now with re this remaining six by 12, I'm going to cut a half inch strip. So we have our base page and the strip. Now I have some gross grain ribbon, which as the instruction says, we're going to cut that into a 12 inch strip. So I'm going to use my 12 inch paper as my guide and cut my 12 inch strip. Now for the third example, I've got a piece of string. And this string, I'm going to cut it about 30 inches long. Now let's cut our labels. But remember, you'll only use one of these systems. I'm just showing you three examples of different ways of doing it. Now for our labels, we have designed these to cut with a two inch punch. And we're going to need double stick tape on all of the reverse sides of the label. So to get started, I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut around the labels. Now after cutting around the labels, that kind of gives me an idea of where to place my double stick tape. After applying my tape, I'm going to cut them out with a two inch punch. And you can find a punch like this at any of your box stores like Hobby Lobby. So I simply put it through there and punch it out. After cutting your labels, that completes the kit. The base, the, the string, whatever you want to use, and the labels. So let's put together our kit. We're going to start with this strip of paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay it underneath our base page and we're going to fold it to the center. We're going to fold both ends toward the center. Now we're going to take our blank label and we're going to place it with the tape up facing up, which the blank label will be to the back. 
we're going to remove the glue and we're going to attach our strip to our base circle. After attaching our circle to our strip, we're going to place our Miracles of Jesus and we're going to stick it on top of the other circle. And you will do this with all the rest of the circles. Now let's do the one that is exactly like the example in the instructions. And what we're going to do is we're going to place it just like we did the paper. Only I'm going to place the base page closer to the top. And I'm going to lay it over. And I'm going to take the passages label. I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to attach the ribbon to the circle just like we did on the first one. Now for my last example, you're going to take your circles, your main characters and your words to live by and you're going to place them together and you're going to take a, hole, a small hole punch and punch a hole in the top and a hole in the bottom. Now we're going to want to place this on the left side of the page. So let's take our string, let's fold it in half, and take our two labels together, and going through the front of the labels, we're going to make a loop. Then we're going to take our loop, and we're going to draw our tails, and pull our tails through the loop and this attaches it to the the two circles. We're then going to lay it wherever we'd like on the page. We're going to take our string around the page. We're going to take one of the strings and we're going to put it through both of the circles through that bottom hole. And we're going to draw it tight and we're going to take the other string and we're going to tie it in a knot or a bow, however you would choose. And that completes our page. Now remember, you're only going to use one of these examples. If you use the paper, you'll need three strips of paper. If you use the ribbon, you'll need three ribbons. And if you use the string, you'll need three uh, sets of uh, string for this page. It's such a cool page with the um, labels on the back as well. Thank you for joining me today for number 24. Stay tuned next for number 25. Now we have done something similar with triangle hanging off the side, but they were at the top and the bottom, and the labels were triangles. So stay with me, and we'll do number 25 next. Thank you for joining me, and have a great day today.